Women who enjoy kinky sex may be psychologically healthier. A study finds that people who engage in kinkier sex are psychologically healthier than those who practice a more traditional love life. The study involved 1,336 participants taking a variety of psychological tests on happiness levels, personality type, attachment style, and how they handle conflict and rejection. From the group, roughly two-thirds self-identified as engaging in some form of bondage, discipline, sadism, and masochism BDSM. The study found that those who practice some BDSM were more open to new experiences and were more conscientious and outgoing. Those engaging in BDSM were also found to be less neurotic and less sensitive to rejection. It's completely normal for couples to have ups and downs in their sex lives, especially as the years go by. Sex can become less of a priority in their relationship, and it can be easy for couples to slip into a rut where they rarely or never experience intimacy. If you're feeling frustrated or unsatisfied with your sexual relationship, the most helpful and constructive thing you can do is express your feelings with your partner using I feel and I want terminology. Even if it's uncomfortable, experts urge couples to have open and honest discussions about sex. When people bottle up their sexual frustrations, it can spill over into the relationship in unhealthy ways. The longer partners go without addressing the issue, the bigger the problems become. That's why it's essential that couples communicate early and often about their sexual needs, desires, and expectations. Women are generally attracted to tall men with deep voices and beards. These characteristics unconsciously communicate protection, maturity, and intelligence. A recent study showed that women prefer to marry men who are 8 inches taller than they are. Tall men, by the way, tend to favor tall women, though not as tall as the man. To be precise, men in a study favored women 3 inches shorter on average. Australia is a good place to find tall romantic partners, it has a tall average height for adults. The tallest nation is the Netherlands. Voice pitch is a cue as to how good a mate a man is in terms of genetic quality. Lower pitched voices are associated with what we call good genes, and that's what women are picking up on. They may not know this consciously, but they know it subconsciously because they demonstrate it by being attracted to these men. Research found that women liked men with deeper voices, but at the same time, they thought these men would be more likely to cheat on them. One way to think about this is that masculine men with deep voices can be seen as the typical bad boy, someone who's attractive but not going to be a long-term partner. According to a survey, the three types of women who have oral sex the most are luxury escorts, married women who receive oral sex from their husbands, and women who only have one-night stands. According to studies women who prefer oral sex are the most unfaithful. When a woman is in love with a man, she will chase him. She will probably know a lot more about him than is possible. Never tell a woman how good you are in bed. This will cause her to have very high expectations of you in sex. Women who have sex frequently tend to masturbate more often, as they have higher testosterone levels. Women feel more horny when their vagina is lubricated. When a couple uses lubricant, the woman's chances of having an orgasm increase by 50%. In general, the most extroverted women in life are not so daring in bed, while the shy ones are the most naughty in bed. Cloudy and rainy days are the days when women are more likely and predisposed to have sex. Having a daily orgasm can make you a happier, calmer, and more tolerant woman in life. Some women can reach orgasm while they sleep or during a sex dream. Women remember the faces of beautiful women more as they see them as threats and sexual competitors. According to studies carried out, 15% of women do not take care of themselves during their first sexual intercourse because they don't know how to ask the man to put on a condom. 
The position where men tend to last the least is the doggy position. If you don't last long in bed, avoid this position. For 80% of women, satisfying intercourse lasts only 8 to 13 minutes, rather than the portrayed fantasy of it lasting for hours. A common nonverbal form of flirting among women is hair. Research shows that women tend to touch their hair more than once during a conversation with someone they find attractive or with whom they want to flirt. When a woman sucks a man's penis, her vagina becomes wet and often throbs. During casual sex, a woman can take up to 20 minutes to reach orgasm, while if you're with someone you love, you can reach it in 10 or even 5 minutes. A woman who goes 21 days without any stimulation or sexual intercourse may experience the best orgasm of her life during her next sexual encounter. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.